Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Tech Native Plays. Everything you need to know about the Tech Striders in Arc Genesis Part 2. Let's rapid fire through these. First of all, they do spawn mostly in the Eden Zone. However, they do spawn a little bit in Rockwell's Garden. They are passive and less attacked. They can harvest trees and berries. They cannot go into cryopods. They don't really have a saddle, I mean they kind of do, but it's just built in. They have a platform as you can see here, which can also be built on. There's a sleeping pod on the saddle that allows you to lay in there, respawn and fast travel. They can be used as a transmitter. They charge your batteries. However, they can also drain your batteries of their charge to take for themselves. They don't have any food, this is the charge is pretty much their replacement. However, it's also used for their attachments. Speaking of attachments, each Strider has two attachments, one body and one head. There are a total of four head attachments and four body attachments. Striders spawn with them randomly and they cannot be taken off or changed. You just get what you get. First for head attachments, silence cannon rig suppress enemies with a sonic attack. Pulse cannon rig, fire high rate plasma bursts. Excavation rig, harvest resources. Raider rig, detects wild creatures nearby. Now for the body attachments. Shield projector rig, creates this shield in front of it. Face cannon rig, shoots out plasma blasts. Shield generator rig, creates a shield all the way around it. As for the final one, the attractor rig, apparently it's bugged at the moment. I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. I asked around and people saying no one can use it. So I guess it's just bugged for the moment, but it's supposed to pick up resources automatically. This is their only attack, not counting attachments. But that is it for today's video. Everything you need to know about the tech striders. If this was helpful or if you did enjoy this video, then please do like and subscribe as it really does help me out a lot here on YouTube. Of course, you don't have to, only if you'd like to. It's completely up to you and completely your decision. With all that out of the way, I will catch you all next time. Have a good one.